90-year-old Juan Escobedo lives with his chihuahua, Shorty, in a small home in Harlingen, Texas. Juan and his nephew by marriage, City Commissioner Frank Puente, noticed flooding in Juan's yard has gotten worse since a nearby hotel and convention center were built. But they had no idea Arizona funneled millions of dollars to build the hotel. An Arizona state board approved a multi-million dollar bond to help build this Hilton Garden Inn. Nowhere near Arizona, but 1,200 miles away from Phoenix, here in Harlingen, Texas. The board said that the hotel provides an economic benefit to the state of Arizona. So I came to take a look. The Arizona Republic booked a room at the Hilton for about $120 a night. It looks brand new. The gym equipment is modern. The pool is sparkling. The hotel features a full bar and a restaurant. I have been here for two nights so far, and the stay has been very comfortable, but it is unclear to me how this Hilton Garden Inn at the southernmost tip of Texas serves the people of Arizona. The Arizona Industrial Development Authority also approved a multi-million dollar bond for a youth baseball complex here in Hutto, Texas, which is just outside of Austin. The facility was intended to draw crowds of child sports stars and their families to town. It has since moved to nearby Cedar Park. The deal in Hutto imploded. Much of the town's leadership lost or left their jobs and lawsuits abound. But Arizona's involvement was mysterious even to local mayor Mike Snyder, who took office in March well after the deal fell apart. I honestly didn't even know Arizona was involved in it. Wow. So. Um, when did you find out Arizona was involved? You called me. It surprised me when you tell me that private money is behind the bonds, but they use the state of Arizona to help sell them. That seems like a conflict of interest because how does that benefit the taxpayers of Arizona? Back in Arizona, one deal is in trouble. The Arizona Industrial Development Authority also approved bonds for projects in-state, including a silica mining operation at this former gold mine. The venture has not worked out. The mining operation is mired in lawsuits, and the multi-million dollar bond that Arizona approved is now officially in default. The Arizona Industrial Development Authority is largely run by program manager Patrick Ray. He defended the out-of-state bonds because Arizona gets a small fee for approving them. We got to give all of our money to the state of Arizona. So because by statute we're required to do it, we figured that must be part of our mission to give money to the state of Arizona. But Ray had a harder time justifying his board's approval of the bond to the silica mining operation that is now in default, which means they aren't paying their bills. The Arizona Republic revealed to Ray red flags on the man who runs the silica mining company. Yeah, I sure don't remember saying this. Ray conceded that his board needed to tighten their standards for review, but not too much, lest they scare off customers. We tried to find a good balance there. We're doing enough vetting to avoid this kind of thing. Well, we obviously need to ratchet it up a little bit, but not so onerous that we're scaring away all of the applicants who can go elsewhere and have a more user-friendly uh, experience. Back in Harlingen, Texas, 1,200 miles from the obscure Arizona board that approved the cash behind the Hilton Garden Inn, Juan Escobedo still struggles with flooding. And his nephew, a city commissioner, is frustrated. You know, it's kind of sad. And, it, and what, what I guess what bothers me or makes me angry is you've got the development with millions of dollars going into that facility. And I'm sure they have the state of the art, the latest technology and drainage. And here we're still, as you can see, my uncle's literally sitting in front of a, a pool of water that's been there for a couple of days already. These deals are just a couple of the bonds approved by the little-known but busy Arizona Industrial Development Authority. Reporting from Harlingen, this is Andrew Ford for the Arizona Republic.